Approximately 12 years ago from today, a now legendary YouTube video was uploaded to the site. It's none other than Fourth Dimension explained by a high school student. Imagine that this folder is a dimensional plane. Now, assuming that it is no height and no depth, what would this mean? Uploaded by a teenage YouTuber known as XKCD Hat Guy in January of 2010, this video featured a rather graspable 9-minute explanation of fourth dimensional theory. It stood the test of time and has likely been played in many a high school physics class. You know, there's always that hip teacher that wants to throw a YouTube video in the curriculum. Well, you can guarantee this one's going in it. Fourth dimensional stuff aside though, many viewers developed a bit of an obsession with the presenter of this thing, the hat guy. Seeing this kid as some sort of genius, the YouTube community quickly became enamored with this mysterious young man and his series of intellectual lectures that would begin to populate his channel after the massive viral success of his dimensional diatribe. These lectures would continue for some time until suddenly, out of nowhere, XKCD Hat Guy vanished from YouTube, leaving behind a legion of confused fans that feared for the worst. So what actually happened to XKCD Hat Guy, the fourth dimensional genius of YouTube? Today I'll be telling you that story, explaining Hat's rise to YouTube fame, the troubling circumstances surrounding his sudden leave of absence, and of course what has become of him in recent times. This is the XKCD Hat Guy story. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Surfshark VPN for supporting my channel with their sponsorship yet again. Surfshark is an easy to use VPN app that works across all of your devices protecting your IP address from people who shouldn't know it. It hides it from advertisers, potential hackers, hell, even your internet service provider. Not only is Surfshark useful from a privacy standpoint, it allows you to change your server location to practically anywhere in the world. Why is this useful? Well, let's say you want to bypass a region firewall that's placed over some content. Say, you know, a streaming service. Perhaps there's a movie that's only available in the United Kingdom on your favorite streaming app and you live in the US. Well, all you gotta do is change your server location to somewhere like London and you probably will be able to watch it. That's that VPN magic, baby. So what are you waiting for? You guys can get 83% off Surfshark VPN and three additional months free by clicking my link in the description box and using code Code wavy at checkout. Our story begins all the way back in 2008 with the creation of the XKCD Hat Guy YouTube channel. XKCD Hat Guy's channel name was almost certainly inspired by the XKCD webcomics created by American author and engineer Randall Patrick Monroe. The comic often made social commentary and concerned itself with existential philosophical dilemmas in a subtle yet sarcastic manner, the latter of which XKCD Hat Guy would attempt to do himself, albeit in a far more dry and comprehensible fashion. Two years after launching his channel, Hat Guy would upload his first video, Fourth Dimension Explained by a High School Student. The description of his video read, There are many theories out there. This is one of those theories. Inspired by Flatlands. Flatlands, I believe, refers to a novel published almost 200 years ago called Flatland, a romance of many dimensions. It's an exalted satirical novel renowned for its examination of social hierarchy and dimensions. Now getting into the video itself. Essentially, it's a short lecture and demonstration. Using random objects around his room, he cleverly explains the progression of dimensions and logically explains what a hyper hypothetical fourth dimensional object might look like. Hat Guy details how the first dimension is essentially a line that allows only horizontal movement, how the second dimension is more or less comprised of multiple one dimensional lines stacked upon each other, allowing for horizontal and vertical movement. He explains how the third dimension is essentially made up of an infinite series of second dimensional worlds stacked back to front, which adds depth to the equation. And continue the logic, of course, you start to get to the unperceivable fourth dimension, which Hat Guy proposes could be something like a tesseract of sorts. Tesseract would look somewhat like this picture. Now that, that's not exactly what it looks like because this is a two-dimensional depiction and obviously not all of the lines are straight. So I cannot show you what a tesseract actually looks like because we cannot perceive things in the third dimension. You cannot even imagine what a tesseract looks like. You cannot physically, you cannot in your mind picture the fourth dimension or a fourth dimensional shape. And you can keep going on from the fourth dimension even. You can go to the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension, the 71st dimension. It doesn't matter. Theoretically, there are an infinite amount of spatial dimensions. Now, aside from the interesting fourth dimensional theory put forward in this video, there was something about Hat Guy himself that made this special. Hat Guy seemed wise beyond his years, his voice and demeanor calming yet oddly authoritative. 
The dude was in his teens but spoke with the expert confidence of a college professor in his 50s directing a master class. And with that said, thousands would pour into the comment section sharing various observations about Hat Guy and their speculations in regard to his background in an attempt to answer some of the questions of why a high school kid even would concern themselves with such an existential crisis as the fourth dimension. People were desperate to get some kind of feedback from Hat Guy just to have him tell a little bit about himself. but. Like the true enigma that he would become, uh, he never really answered any personal questions. Rather, what he did instead was counterintuitive to what most people think you should do after getting a viral video, you know, make more. What he did was basically disappear from YouTube. This left many fans confused and thirsty for some more XKCD hat guy wisdom, but fortunately for them, he would return in three years. Society as we know it today, seems to depend on, if not entirely thrive, on conflict. If you look at history as it's recorded, it's largely the history of conflicts of interest between different nations, different ideologies, different religions. And if you look at all of our mediums of entertainment, Everything as we know it seems to be dependent on the idea that there is some kind of conflict of interest. In late 2013, XKCD Hat Guy came back to YouTube with a new series of videos. Consisting of eight in total released over a three month span, these lectures featured a slightly aged hat guy giving a series of short stream of consciousness diatribes about societal dilemmas that seemed to be causing him some internal anguish. From his thoughts on cancer and how diet affects it. We really already know how to cure cancer. The only reason it becomes fatal is because most people are not treating their bodies right. They're not eating anything that has nutrition. To his thoughts on non-productive jobs and how they will likely be replaced by technology. What if instead of having an economy where everyone had to work just to provide for themselves, we had an economy that based on the technology we have, we provide for everyone's basic needs. And finally, his criticisms of government drug regulation and the legal punishments issued to drug addicts. If the effects of a particular drug are so bad that they need to be made illegal, then shouldn't the negative side effects be enough of a deterrent, enough of a punishment to anyone who uses them, that we don't also have to begin involving everyone else in the community? Police, politicians, lawyers, to stop the use of this drug? Shouldn't the punishment and inflicts on the person who use it be enough? XKCD Hat Guy made these videos not to opine as some sort of expert on the topics themselves, he more or less wanted to share and expose people to a variety of conundrums that often racked his brain. He never really provides any definite solutions to the problems discussed, merely brings the dilemma and lays it on the table. These videos would often inadvertently create heated debates in XKCD Guy's comment section, with people putting forth their own ideas and criticisms and counterpoints to what was presented in the video themselves. Had Guy subscribers really enjoyed these thought experiments and hoped that he would continue making them for the foreseeable future. But after his video published on December 20th of 2013, the one discussing drug abuse, XKCD Hat Guy seemingly vanished from YouTube. This time, it seemed permanent. Many feared that Hat Guy's fixation on the many worldly dilemmas had driven him into some sort of depression. Others that were not as familiar with his content saw the title of his final video and assumed perhaps drugs were the result of his disappearance. Whatever the case, his sudden leave was quite the mystery, as his videos consistently brought in tens, if not hundreds of thousands of views. Years would pass with no activity on the XKCD Hat Guy channel, but in 2016, there would finally be an update in regard to his disappearance. On May 7th of 2016, a Redditor would create a thread on the Where Are They Now subreddit asking the following question, What happened to XKCD Hat Guy? 
Six years ago, he posted a brilliant video explaining the fourth dimension. Over the course of four years, he posted a couple of videos discussing problems within society and another video simplifying Einstein's relativity theory. Two years ago, he posted his last video talking about drug usage. What happened to him? Where is he now? This thread would sit dormant for some time, but in October, it prompted an interesting reply from XKCD Hat Guy's purported wife. This is his wife. He doesn't want to be contacted and clearly has stated it. His personal life is nobody's concern. He's not interested in having discussions, nor will he answer your questions. Please stop bothering him. Thank you all for your time and support regardless of the present situation." She continues in a separate post. People frequently overstep the boundary of privacy and respect. Many are partially aware of his mental health and enjoy abusing that, which only worsens it. The majority of comments and messages received are provocative, disrespectful, speculating, stalkerish, creepy, irrelevant, and repetitive. In response to another commenter who challenges this criticism on the grounds that XKCD hat guy is a public figure, she says, Many YouTubers make videos. You don't expect that they actually want to talk to you, do you? All he wanted was to be heard, nothing more. I don't care if it sounds offensive. What I know is that you've, not you in particular, his whole fan base, offended him and have caused him annoyance and pain. Do you have any idea what it's like to be locked up in a mental hospital for 90 days? Do you want to know what this obsession has caused him? He's not coming back, so get over it. You're not entitled to anything or anybody. Go cry about it somewhere else. Now this write-up certainly implies that something was amiss behind the scenes in regard to XKCD Hat Guy's personal life. And if what this purported wife on Reddit had to say was true, it sounded like the inadvertent online fame Hat Guy had received proved to be a curse rather than a blessing. This very well may have been the final update to XKCD Hat Guy and the circumstances surrounding his disappearance. An unsettling and nebulous fate described only by a secondhand Reddit post. But fortunately for those invested in the XKCD Hat Guy story, they would get an update from the man himself. And it turns out the struggles described in the Reddit thread were somewhat true. So this is how we were given this update. In 2019, videos began popping up on a relatively new channel called XKCD Hat Guy. Now one might assume this to be a fake imposter account, but it actually seemed somewhat legitimate upon further inspection. The videos on this channel consisted of an audio lecture featuring an eerily familiar voice. I have had to deal with uh, ungodly amounts of BS, but I hope you guys can understand it was necessary. And another video which purported itself to be an old, unreleased XKCD Hat Guy video. While already convincing, it could be possible that this was just a video Hat had posted years ago on another website and someone had ripped it and uploaded it here to fool a bunch of people. But any doubt into this being the return of the real Hat Guy would be casted aside when on September 4th of 2019, Hat Guy for the first time in over five years would go on camera and address the YouTube public. This video is aptly titled My Return to YouTube and Why I Left. In this video, XKCD Hat Guy pulls back the veil and candidly reveals personal information about himself and the circumstances surrounding his disappearance. Apparently a struggle with schizoaffective disorder not only hindered his ability to maintain a YouTube presence, it caused a great deal of discord in his life in general. Here's some highlights of the video where he explains what happens, but I highly recommend you go to his channel and watch it in its entirety. Many of you may be wondering where and what I have been doing for the past five years or so. To begin with, I lost access to my account due to forgetting my password, and unfortunately I'm unable to recover the original XKCD Hat Guy channel. On another note, I've wanted to clarify something that is personal to me and seems to be debated often in the comments. I am autistic. I have had Asperger's Syndrome since I was five years old and it's not something that I am ashamed of telling the world. Uh, I started to realize sometime after the fourth dimension video was made that a typical life and career path was not for me because I simply didn't want the same things most people wanted. Sometime after I graduated high school, health became a huge part of my life, and I began to study alternative medicine and even work at a store that specialized in it. I feel like I was trying to use alternative health in order to compensate and alleviate the loneliness and depression that encompassed me and the high levels of anxiety I had to cope with every day as an autistic person became extremely isolated 
focused almost exclusively on spiritual development, which led me eventually towards the gradual development of schizoaffective disorder. Uh, because of this very intense condition and sometimes unstable state that I live in, I can no longer work and instead receive disability. Uh, despite this, I find that minimalism suits me, and I am mostly happy with the way that things are thanks to my beautiful wife, who found me four years ago through a small blog I used to write. Uh, she's an empath and was able to pull me out of a very dark place in my life. Um, I've gained a lot of weight, but to me it's an improvement um, because I feel much happier being overweight than extremely underweight as I used to be, being 132 pounds while being six foot five. Uh, perhaps this YouTube channel um, will be a guide to someone the way I wish I had had one when I was alone facing demons during my adolescence. And I hope this video shed some light on some of your questions about me and where I've been this whole time. So as mentioned in the video, Hat Guy's disappearance was due to a variety of factors, but primarily struggles with mental health. Fortunately though, it seemed like he was in good spirits and had gotten better at managing his condition. It appeared as if he was going to be sticking around for a while. His description reads, I hath returned. After publishing this video, news of XKCD Hat Guy's return and his new channel began to slowly trickle around the internet. As people got the news, they would file into his comment section to welcome Hat Guy back and congratulate him on his improved health, also expressing how much his old videos meant to them years ago. It was a warm welcoming. Ever since Hat Guy's return in October of 2019, he has maintained a presence on YouTube, uploading new lectures at his leisure, expounding upon his personal worldview on a variety of topics. While XKCD Hat Guy is by no means obliged to stick around, it's good to see him back and confident enough to share his thoughts once again. Hat Guy's most recent video at the time of my video's creation was published on October 29th of 2021. This rather timely video discusses the implications of the metaverse and how a rigorous application of it could actually be used to benefit society. Give the video a watch. As for XKCD Hat Guy's future plans, he reveals in the metaverse video's description box that he's currently writing a book. He doesn't elaborate on what the book is about, but knowing Hat Guy, it's going to be some mind-blowing shit. There have been many a YouTuber once famous in years past who have seemingly fallen off the face of the earth, closure never given to thousands of fans who watch them on a regular basis. Some get bored of making videos, burnt out, or move on to greener pastures. I don't think XKCD Hat Guy left for any of those aforementioned reasons. I don't think he ever lost his passion for making his videos and sharing thoughts. I believe at the stage of life he was in, he simply couldn't handle the stress involved with being a public figure on YouTube with thousands of people leaving comments day after day. This drove him away from the site, but after growing up some and receiving help, XKCD Hat Guy seems to be far more stable and far more happy in his life. No, he didn't slip into the fourth dimension, he just took a break. But that, my friends, was the story of XKCD Hat Guy. Let me know what you thought about this video down below in the comments section, slap like, and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.